Cyborgs, drugs, vagina close-ups, and human burger patties? Welcome back to Popcorn Recap. Today, we're covering the 2017 action spy comedy film called Kingsman, The Golden Circle, where antisocial Eggsy gets recruited into a secret spy organization. Gary Eggsy officially joined Kingsman one year after defeating Richmond Valentine. He has taken over the spy name Galahad from his late mentor, Harry Hart. On his way home from the Kingsman tailor shop, a strange, bald, miserable man ambushes him. Eggsy's cool spy lenses identify the man as Charlie Hesketh, a rejected Kingsman applicant. Charlie points a gun at Eggsy, who's looking so sleek in his tux, and enviously compare their lives after being rejected in Kingsman. Whoa, so that much resentment can make you wicked and bald, huh? Charlie demands that Eggsy go inside the spy cab. Maybe he has plans to abduct the antisocial Chav, but Eggsy is a Kingsman spy. He's not so clinically stupid to just go in and get taken away. Eggsy fights the reject trainee inside the spy cab. The scene is full of ball swaying and neck cracking. Eggsy discovers that Charlie's damaged vocal cords and arm were replaced with cybernetics. Eggsy manages to elude the bald cyborg, and in doing that, severs the trainee's mechanical arm. Eggsy is being pursued by the opponent's aggressive convoy. Eggsy manages to escape yet another fast and furious chase. Eggsy retreats to the Kingsman's underwater hideout in Rendezvous Swan. Since the cab's windows are all broken, Eggsy needs to hold his breath while the cab enters the secret hideout. Eggsy's series of unfortunate events don't stop that night. The only way out of that secret underwater hideout is through a stinky sewer hole. Ew, this sewage looks like a concoction of deadly bacteria and diseases. Eggsy has no choice. He needs to get to his dinner date. Meanwhile, Charlie's severed cyborg arm extracts information from the spy cab. Apparently, it successfully downloads important information about the Kingsman spies. Jeez, they really gotta change their cybersecurity provider. Eggsy arrives home to see Amy Adams. Oh wait, it's Hannah Alstrom, and asks for a kiss. Yikes, Eggsy is now dating the Crown Princess of Sweden. Love transcends all boundaries, but not Eggsy's sewage juice lips. The Crown Princess Tilda eventually agrees to kiss him. Maybe true love really does exist. That night, Princess Tilda and Eggsy attend their friend's birthday party. Eggsy looks different when he's not wearing his dapper suit. But Princess Tilda's cake is far worse. Do you remember the cyborg hand that hacked the spy car servers? Yes, that one. Apparently, it relays the evidence it's gathered to Poppy Adams, the leader of the Golden Circle, the world's largest narcotics cartel. Poppy is a real psychotic bitch that eats human patties for brunch. Plus, she's the leader of the world's largest drug cartel called the Golden Circle. She deliberately kills one business partner in broad daylight by shoving him into a meat processor. She then gets the fresh meat and turns it into a tasty hamburger. Didn't know cannibalism would exist in redheads. Princess Tilda asks Eggsy to have a dinner practice in preparation for their trip to Sweden. Eggsy remembers all his classes with his late mentor, Harry. Eggsy gets teary-eyed as he reminisces his moments with Harry. Eggsy arrives at the Kingsman tailor shop and meets up with the other agents. They talk about the cyborg Charlie and who he might be working for. They eventually found out that the goons that Eggsy encountered before were part of an underground mob. Meanwhile, at Poppy's psychotic clinic, Angel is getting his teeth reconstructed and his fingerprints removed so no traces of his identity could ever leak. What a criminal way to reinvent a person. He receives his golden circle tattoo as well. After his clinical procedures, Poppy offers him the human hamburger. He forces himself to eat the cannibal dish and tries very hard not to puke. Eggsy is having dinner with the Swedish royalties and everything seems fine until they get into a heated discussion about the stock market. Eggsy impresses the royals with his quick wits and sophisticated manners. While the royal and spy couple is out for dinner, one of their friends enter Eggsy's room and discovers all the cool spy stuff inside. He eventually gets blown up by an unknown missile. Even the geriatric spies in the tailor shop gets bombed away. Evidently, Poppy uses the stolen information to fire a barrage of missiles that destroys the Kingsman's headquarters and kills all of the agents in the UK except Eggsy and Merlin. Eggsy visits the wreckage like he's an Umbrella Academy. He sees Merlin and suspects him as the culprit. Merlin proves his innocence by showing the severed cyborg hand. Eggsy comes to his senses and trusts Merlin again. Both are now in a vengeance rampage. The two sulk in bourbon and sing John Denver's Take Me Home Country Roads. Gosh, if only Merlin knew. Eggsy and Merlin follow an emergency route that leads them to Statesman, an American private intelligence outfit masquerading as a Kentucky bourbon whiskey factory. In Kentucky, they meet Magic Mike. Oh wait, I mean Statement's Tequila. 
After a modern cowboy fight with Tequila, Exe and Merlin wake up tied up in the statement's secret room. They discover that owing to statement technology, Harry survived his shooting but is suffering from amnesia. They also discover about the golden circle from statesman's chief, Champagne, and the two agencies agree to collaborate in order to bring it down. Back to Poppyland, the evil redhead hosts a Saturday night live show with the one and only Elton John. Turns out, she abducted Elton to perform for her every now and then. Elton develops a blue rash, but he doesn't die yet. Relax, people. Merlin and Halle Berry, aka Ginger Ale, continue to treat Harry's amnesia. They tried to drown him in his cell hoping that his memories would come back because of the shock. They fail several times. Tequila eventually develops a blue rash and exhibits signs of madness, and is replaced as Eggsy's partner by another agent, Whiskey. Eggsy bids goodbye to Princess Tilda and follows Cyborg Charlie's ex-girlfriend to a music festival. This later creates a strain on their relationship. On their way, Whiskey gives Eggsy a tiny condom spy tool. Ew. The mission is to insert a monitoring device inside the ex-girlfriend's inside so they can get intel from the Golden Circle. Whiskey starts the mission by flirting with the blonde, but eventually gets rejected Tinder left swipe style. Eggsy comes to the rescue and jokes that Whiskey doesn't know Tinder since he's from the later part of the Boomers. The blonde likes the British sense of humor and gets it on with Eggsy. Eggsy disguises as a hippie boy called River and builds a shamanic rapport with the blonde girl. Back at Poppy's cannibal dinner, she talks with Cyborg Charlie and complains about how she's homesick. She also complains that she's the richest female businesswoman, way richer than self-made Kylie Jenner, and yet nobody knows her. Angel comes in with blue rashes and is scolded by Poppy for trying out the new product. The blue rash is apparently a side effect of the new drugs. Poppy states how she likes robots better than humans because of loyalty issues. She orders her cyborg dogs to hunt Angel down. He brutally dies. Elton John watches the gruesome scenario. But chill, he doesn't die just yet. Eggsy and the blonde ex-girlfriend are getting handsy at Glastonbury. He times out for a pee-pee break, but she tells her he can pee on her. Eggsy cringes. The loyal Eggsy calls his girl Tilda and asks permission if he can have sex with another woman for the sake of saving the world. The two argue and Tilda hangs up. Eggsy, out of guilt and love for Tilda, declines the blonde's hot sex offer. But upon seeing her golden tattoo near her sandy butt crack, he eventually agrees. Eggsy puts out the finger condom spy tool and inserts it inside the blonde's vagina. Mission success! Later, Eggsy cures Harry's amnesia by threatening to shoot a Cairn Terrier puppy that resembles Harry's late dog, just before Poppy broadcasts a message informing the world about a toxin she's added to all her drugs. If the President of the United States quits his country's drug war and allows her cartel freedom from prosecution, she would offer the world the antidote. The suspicious president adopts a tough anti-drug attitude and vows to quarantine everyone affected, aiming to let them all die in order to put Poppy out of business while simultaneously cleansing the world of drug addicts he regards as criminals. The Fingered Blonde is tracked down to the Golden Circle's antidote plant in Italy by Eggsy, Harry, and Whiskey. Eggsy obtains an antidote sample, but it is shattered by Whiskey during a Golden Circle ambush, prompting Harry to suspect him of plotting against him. Whiskey gets shot in the head by Harry, but Eggsy, assuming Harry is crazy as a result of his recovery, saves him with the same technology that statesmen used to save Harry. This scene is so intense that trust issues are flaring up. Princess Tilda contacts Eggsy in a rage, stating that she too has been affected by the blue rash and has used drugs as a result of her worry over Eggsy's infidelity. Eggsy, Harry, and Merlin uncover Poppy's stronghold Poppyland in Cambodia and fly there to take the laptop that can launch the antidote-carrying drones. Eggsy steps on a landmine upon their arrival in Poppyland, but Merlin sacrifices himself to save him and Harry. Told you that song has some death spirit in it. Eggsy and Harry attack the lair, with Eggsy killing Charlie and Harry destroying Poppy's robotic attack dogs with the help of Elton John, who was captured by Poppy during the previous film's events. Go, John! They take Poppy's laptop and inject her with a concentrated dosage of her poison. Poppy trades the laptop's password for the antidote, but she dies from the poison before she can use it. Whiskey stops them from deploying the drones, explaining that he wants all drug users to die after his pregnant wife was killed in a heist conducted by two methamphetamine users. Eggsy and Harry fight and kill Whiskey before deploying the drones to release the antidote and save the victims all around the planet. Following the impeachment of the president for conspiring to commit genocide against the drug victims, Statesman purchases a distillery in Scotland to aid in the rebuilding of Kingsman. Ginger Ale, a Statesman tech support specialist, gets promoted to Whiskey. Eggsy marries Princess Tilda, and Tequila takes an exchange job at Kingsman, which acquires a new tailor store in London. 
Stay tuned for the next Kingsman movie recap. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.